Released back in 2004, the Nintendo DS was a groundbreaking console at the time, being portable and having a touchscreen. But most importantly, the DS had two screens instead of one. These two screens offered a new and fresh way to play video games. So what about emulation of the Nintendo DS? While there are many DS emulators out there, I want to compare the two most popular DS emulators, for PC at least. That's right, Melon DS and Desmoomi. Time to figure out out of the two which is the better Nintendo DS emulator. Let's first start off with Melon DS. First publicly released in 2017, Melon DS is a fairly new emulator, and yet has managed to implement features that Desmoomi doesn't have like Wi-Fi support and DSi mode. Melon DS is a great emulator for people new to emulation. All you have to do is download the emulator, extract the zip file, and run the .exe, and you're set to go. All the settings and controls are easy to find and are not buried under lots of settings. There's honestly not much more to say about Melon DS. It's a great DS emulator with everything you could ask for. Now let's move on to Desmoomi. Desmoomi is definitely the more mature Nintendo DS emulator, having been released way back in 2006. It's also worth mentioning that the latest version of Desmoomi I could find was from two years ago, at the time of recording this video, which makes this comparison kind of unfair, but there's nothing I can do about that. Back to the video. Desmoomi is set up the same way as Melon DS. You download the latest version of the emulator, extract the zip file, and run the application. As I said earlier, Desmoomi does not have Wi-Fi support or DSi mode, despite being the older emulator. Another downside of using Desmoomi is the special save file it creates. Instead of using a .save file like most Nintendo DS emulators, it has its own special kind of save file, which is a .dsv. These .dsv files are annoying, since they only work with Desmoomi emulator. In order to use .save files in Desmoomi, you have to convert it into a .dsv, then import it, which is too much work if you want to transfer your save file to and from your computer and phone. Desmoomi also has a lot of settings, but most of the time you can't find the setting you're looking for. For that reason, I wouldn't recommend Desmoomi to people new to emulation. Desmoomi emulator is useful for doing technical stuff with the DS since it has a whole bunch of developer tools. Before I tell you the better Nintendo DS emulator, keep in mind that this is my personal opinion and that there is no right or wrong answer. With that being said, in my opinion, Melon DS is the better Nintendo DS emulator. For the average person, all you're gonna wanna do is play your favorite Nintendo DS games, upscale the graphics to a super high resolution, and maybe use some cheats. While you can do the exact same things in Desmoomi, it just doesn't do it as well as Melon DS can. Sure, you can play any game in Desmoomi, but some games lag, and you can only upscale the graphics to four times. My point is that Desmoomi is better for other things, like debugging ROMs with all those developer tools. Thanks for watching till the very end. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a like. Till next time.